Hello, Western Oregon sports fans, and welcome to Wolves Weekly Recap Edition with Arne yeah. Ferguson. Coming back from a nice long road trip down to Utah. Yeah, real nice to get a win down there. Uh, they've been a very good opponent, um, and we've had trouble down there. And our offense jumped on the board with the first play, touchdown, and then our defense played well throughout. Um, so it was a very good game overall, and uh, it's really nice to see uh, Trevor Gates really have a, um, the best game that he's had to date. Um, I think 162 yards, 163 yards, um, and really did a nice job of, of extending the play as far as deep balls, which we haven't been very successful with, and so that's really nice to see. And, and Evan Mazaki had his best game as far as yards per catch, and I think he set the GNAC record. Well, talk to me a little bit about Gates. Gates earns the GNAC Player of the Week, but and we'll get back to Mizaki because we know mm -hmm. wide receiver needs their quarterback out there to help. But talk, like you said, talk to me a little bit about Gates. Uh, Gates has been our most productive receiver in critical downs. Um, he's especially in third down, and we really try to make an emphasis of getting him the ball uh, on some deeper patterns, play action patterns on first down, and he had his best game and uh, to date. And you have traditionally in the past kind of had those big wide receivers and stuff like that. It's, it seems like you have, you know, Gates and a couple of these other guys really seem to be getting out, finding those little niches, and like you said, yeah. helping, the, helping the quarterback out to get those third down conversions and yeah. things like that. Well, well Gates is, is very quick, along with the receiving core of some tall receivers and quick receivers, and, and uh, especially with Lucas Gonzalez being out, um, Trevor's really stepped up and, and did a nice job with, with some third down, but also the deep ball, which we've been missing so far. Okay, and then let's talk about Evan Mazaki throwing a, throwing a very good deep ball. Mm -hmm. He completed 12 passes. Four of those went for touchdowns this week. Uh, anytime a quarterback can be productive in, in yards per catch um, and be efficient, um, anytime they're 12 or 15, um, normally we'd like to throw a little bit more, um, but a running game did a nice job, so we didn't need to. But this, the average almost 18 yards per um, throw is a pretty big deal. Uh, means our receivers are, are, are missing, making people miss tackles, and also getting open on a deeper ball, which we haven't been, we haven't been able to do yet. We got to make sure we give a shout out at the same time to Josh McFarland, who was also on the receiving end of two of those yes. other touchdowns there yes. as well. Yeah, Josh is, is coming around. He's had a, a critical plays against Central Washington, and then he had two touchdowns, um, both on vertical seams, and it's nice to see him start playing um, like he, we expect him to be able to play. And we like his speed, like his size, and we just want to continue for him to be aggressive and be more productive. Obviously, when you beat a team 56 to nothing, you had a great offensive day, We had a great defensive yeah. day as well. Talk to me about that defense. Well, first of all, Bryce Pila, I think he's leading our conference uh, double in interceptions. So he had a nice pick um, in a long situation, read the quarterback well. Um, so that's nice. Um, R.J. Williams picked for a touchdown. Um, as a corner position, which is nice to see. Um, and that really helped with 21 points in that first quarter and really let us get control of the game. Um, but also Levi had a ball tipped. I think, again, Bryce tip, hit the ball, tipped <laughs> it, and he's a D lineman running to the football, and it came back to him, and he got 15 yards or so um, on the interception. But those three turnovers were very crucial, um, giving our offense more chances. And I think um, someone told me around the middle third quarter and the third quarter they end up with like minus 20 yards rushing and be able to, to play everybody and that would be first as far as a game where we get everybody in um, and we subbed throughout the second half that it was nice to see. And uh, last year's GNAC player of the week Scotland Foss helped, helped lead again he had two sacks helped the defense get seven yeah. sacks on the day yeah. maybe one of the better defensive line performances yeah, and first of all, Gavin Drake had his best game of the season, and he's been very productive, and, and Scott Foss has been productive. Um, but Drake keep, is keeping on getting better, and then really I think he had two or three sacks, which really helped him. And Foss is leading our conference in tackles and, and also tackles for Lossie somewhere in there. But it's good to see those guys really step up and play fast. Um, Dixie's a, a, still a good team. We're just able to be consistent and, and keep on getting better. Um, throughout the, this week, and we're hoping we'll need that going to Nablin Christian. Fantastic. Well, we know we're going to get you back on the show a little later this week for the preview edition. And we'll come back and talk about number 11, Abilene Christian, as the Wolves travel down to Texas to face that challenge.